Boy's journey into femininity encouraged by his mother. My name is Alex, and my story is a bit unconventional. Growing up, I was treated differently by my mother than most boys would be. She had a penchant for femininity and encouraged me to embrace it too. It started innocently enough, but as time passed, it became a significant part of my life. One day, we were out shopping, and my mother wanted to buy high heels. She asked me to hold her pink purse to free up her hands and even showed me how to hold it in a girlish way. As awkward as it felt, I went along with it to please her. She then urged me to try on some high heels myself, which I did reluctantly. The attention she gave me for it made me feel both embarrassed and secretly intrigued. Another time, we went shopping for lipstick, and she asked me to wear the same shade as her. In public, she'd refer to me as her, little girl, and though it made me blush with embarrassment, I couldn't deny that a part of me enjoyed the attention. As I grew older, she started taking care of my appearance, regularly trimming my eyebrows and giving me vitamins to keep my skin smooth. Most of my clothes were hand-me-downs from my cousin Samantha, which consisted of lovely blouses with flower patterns, hot pants, and ballerinas. My mother called it an androgynous style, which she said was modern. When we were out in public, people often mistook me for a girl, and my mother delighted in it. Surprisingly, I began to like the feminine look too. At home, I started wearing more feminine hand-me-downs from Samantha, including beautiful dresses and skirts. My mother loved seeing me like this and affectionately called me her little girl at home. As I hit puberty, I started growing some breast tissue, which worried me. However, my mother assured me it was natural and even gifted me a beautiful lace bra to wear under my clothes. She believed it would halt the growth, but it didn't. Instead, my breasts continued to develop, and my mother encouraged me to wear nice tops and dresses that accentuated my cleavage. To further enhance my femininity, my mother got my ears pierced and gave me lovely earrings to wear. My voice didn't develop very masculinely, so I often left people guessing about my gender. Eventually, I stopped going to school and began working for my mother's clothing store, which specialized in high-quality dresses for weddings, proms, and other events. I had to wear a cute feminine sales lady suit, and my name tag read, Alex. Customers assumed I was a girl, and I didn't mind, secretly reveling in the feminine persona my mother nurtured. My mother even took it a step further, allowing me to model the dresses for her catalog. In my heart, I began to accept the idea of being a woman and maybe even a bride myself someday. The thought excited me, and as time went on, I found myself embracing my femininity with more confidence and joy. Though my journey might have seemed peculiar to others, I learned that being true to yourself, no matter how unconventional, is what brings true happiness. With my mother's unwavering support and acceptance, I was free to explore my identity and discover the woman I wanted to be. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, I became more comfortable in my femininity. Working at my mother's clothing store allowed me to immerse myself in the world of fashion, and I learned how to apply makeup and style my hair to enhance my feminine features. My mother, who had always been my biggest cheerleader, guided me every step of the way. At the store, I interacted with customers, helping them find the perfect dresses for their special occasions. They often praised my taste and expertise, not realizing that I was not the girl they assumed me to be. At first, I felt a twinge of guilt for deceiving them, but my mother assured me that it was all part of embracing my true self and the role I felt most comfortable in. As time went on, my mother's clothing store gained popularity, and our online catalog with me modeling the dresses received immense attention. People admired my grace and elegance, never suspecting that I was biologically male. My mother was incredibly proud of me, and her love and acceptance helped quell any doubts or fears that occasionally arose. In my personal life, I faced challenges and questions about my identity. Society's norms often made me doubt myself, but my mother's unwavering support and encouragement kept me grounded. I came to understand that my femininity didn't invalidate my identity as a person. Embracing my feminine side was just a natural part of who I was, and it didn't take away from the core of my being. As the years passed, my confidence grew, and I found myself blossoming into the woman I had always been on the inside. 
I considered going through gender reassignment procedures, but after deep reflection, I realized that being a woman didn't necessarily mean altering my body. Instead, it was about embracing my femininity and expressing it authentically. As fate would have it, I fell in love with a wonderful and accepting partner named Emily. She had known me since our school days and had always seen the person behind the gender. She loved me for who I was, and with her, I found a deep sense of belonging and happiness. Emily encouraged me to be myself unapologetically, and together, we faced the world with confidence and love. One beautiful spring day, in the presence of our loved ones, Emily and I tied the knot. I wore a stunning wedding gown, feeling like the most radiant bride. My mother was filled with pride as she walked me down the aisle, and tears of joy glistened in her eyes. As a couple, we navigated life's ups and downs with love and resilience. My mother's clothing store thrived, and our story of acceptance and embracing individuality inspired many. We used our platform to advocate for inclusivity and understanding, hoping to create a world where everyone could feel loved and accepted for who they truly were. And so, my life took an unexpected and unique path, guided by the unwavering love and support of my mother. I found my true self, embraced my femininity, and lived a life filled with love, acceptance, and happiness. Through my journey, I discovered that being true to oneself was the most beautiful and empowering gift I could ever give myself. And with love as my compass, I ventured into the future, ready to embrace whatever adventure lay ahead. The End